Hey guys, so um, I thought I'd start up a YouTube channel. Um, so the first video I'm going to do is of my Polaroid collection. I have in total 43 cameras. That probably sounds like a lot to everyone, but it's, it's progressed over about a year in my collection. So um, this video is just going to solely be on Polaroid cameras. Um, so hopefully you learn something new about cameras or it might convince you to go out, go out there and buy a Polaroid camera yourself. So here we go. The first Polaroid camera I got was the uh, Fuji, uh, Fujifilm Instax 210. Um, I thought I'd start off uh, with quite a simple camera, quite a modern one because I wasn't that sure on like old fashioned cameras and stuff. But I got this one for my birthday um, and it has, it, the film comes out this bit, it's you, it's about, it's a bit bigger than um, the old square um, cam, uh, Polaroid film um, and even though I say it's Polaroid film it's not, it's Fuji film so but it's like a Polaroid film. Um, the picture comes out at the top here um, and Got dials here. Just yeah, dials here. Um, it's got an LED screen, so it's a bit um, more modern. Um, and when you turn it on, the lens comes. Uh, the lens comes out. Of it. So it's quite a big camera, especially for being a modern camera. Um, and then you've got lighten, normal, or darken, which you can control by the settings. You, even though it has a flash, an um, override flash button, you don't really have much control over the flash anyway. So, yeah. Um, the film you can get um, online or you can get, you can get, um, get like an Urban Outfitters or anything. I usually get mine online because it's a lot cheaper than Urban Outfitters. Um, and it will work out about, um, It'll be about 50p a picture, so it is quite expensive, but it's, it's very good. The second Polaroid camera I got was this one, the Polaroid One. Um, this was actually my nan's camera, um, and I found it in her cupboard one day, and yeah, she sort of gave it to me, but yeah, it's still technically hers, but um, it's quite an old camera. Um, and it's quite good condition for this one as it still has all like the labels on how to use it and stuff on top. Um, you open the camera by pressing this back button here then it just it will shoot up like this. Let me zoom in. So here's the camera. Um, it's got a focus range of 3 feet to infinity which is okay but if you wanted to do close up shots then it's not that good. Um, you take a picture by pressing this button here um, and you've got two, two controls at the back. You've got the flash button and you've also got a timer button which is really good because if you've got to take a picture on like um, a tripod which has a tripod but here you can time it and stuff like that so yeah and this is the viewfinder here which isn't that accurate to be honest um, as the viewfinder is here um, so it doesn't have it's not really looking where the, the lens is looking but it's a good camera overall and the film for this one you can buy from the Impossible Project and it comes out like this, so it is the Polaroid film. But since Polaroid shut down all their factories making this film, Impossible Project bought the last factory and decided to make more film. This film um, is quite old, so it's like uh, um, hasn't come out the best. That's their black and white. But I know that since since um, this has come out, they have worked on new uh, formulas and stuff, so they have. They have got better film now, nowadays and they also have different prints so this one's a black frame 
but the typical Polaroid film was um, white. So my next camera um, is the third one I got. Now this was when I started experimenting with Polaroid film and so I got the LAN, uh, Polaroid LAN camera automatic 104. Um, yeah it's quite quite a big camera especially when it's open but it's a really good camera and I have two other versions of it as well. So the next camera I have is the Polaroid button. Um, this is a more basic camera to the other cameras I've shown you. Um, it's got the viewfinder at the back here and a little dial to show you how many film you've got left. With the Polaroid film it will it would have started at 10 so you get 10 films per pack but with this one the Impossible Project um, only give you 8 shots so uh, you need to remember that you it'll show you when you've got two shot left two shots left you'll have you won't have any left so this camera is really basic so you've got the shutter button here this is the where the camera looks like where you to actually take the picture this is the exposure dial here and this is the viewfinder so to open the camera you press this button here and push it forward if I can get it and in front, I've got a film pack in there at the moment, but it takes um, SX70 film, which is about £25 from the Impossible Project, which is really expensive, especially for eight shots. But they've always got sales on, and you can always buy um, eight dated film on eBay, um, which I tend to do because I sort of more like the effect of it. And so, yeah, and the film will come out the front here. Um, so, my next Polaroid film is the Polaroid SX70 1000. This is the typical camera you'd see on Instagram or Tumblr or whatever from all those hipsters out there um, do it. And it's really similar to the button um, but it's just more well known and yeah. Um, this one's got a green button. I'm not really sure on the difference between the green button and the red button um, there's something to do about how rare they are or something like that um, but if anyone knows please leave a comment down below and let me know about that as I'd really like to know what the difference is so just as the same as the button it's got the viewfinder at the back here and a dial to show you how many film you've got left that's where the picture, the picture will be actually taken shutter button and the exposure and then it just comes out the front here so always check when you've got a um, Polaroid camera that the rollers are clean because when the camera comes out it, the rollers actually push the chemicals to actually from the bottom of the film like this actually push um, from the bottom here let me just from the bottom here there um, that's where all the chemicals are kept so when it goes through the rollers, it pushes all the chemicals through to um, actually expose the image. So you always need to make sure that the rollers are clean to actually make there's an e make sure there's an even flow through the film, or otherwise you have patchy patchy pictures. But yeah, I think I haven't actually used this camera yet, but I bought it working and I have tested it, so it is all working. And I got this one for ten pounds which is pretty good price to be honest. So again, my other another one is the Polaroid Impulse. Um, this one's not as popular many people. Sorry, it's quite dusty. It's been on my shelf. Um, but it's it's quite a big camera. It's sort of you've got to sort of hold it in both hands. So and the viewfinder is really big. Here it is. Um, and you've got at the top you've got let me just focus at the top here you've got the distance settings so it's two to four uh, two to uh, four feet and you have to hold it there when you take the picture um, and then you've got four feet to infinity so it's not exactly that good for close-up shots but you know so the next camera I'm going to show you is the Polaroid line camera model ATA. This is a really really old camera 
and they don't actually sell film for it anymore but you can get them converted to other film um, to other film so it'll take like um, the FP3000B or FP100C um, so this one's quite hot old and it's really heavy so it's a really really heavy camera to open it press this button here and it'll shoot forward so again it's a bellow camera because this one's quite always quite stiff to get it down so at the front you've got at the front you've got the distance settings here and then you get the exposure here so you haven't exactly got that much control over the camera as with other Polaroid cameras but again it's quite and then here you can ex um, just change the type of lens you've got um, so it's a bellow camera and at the back this is where the film would have been put so to open it you push that and it'll come out to open the first section of the camera and it gives you some details about what sort of should have because it's so odd it's quite rusty now you shut that back up and then to actually open the whole of the camera the whole back push this bit up here and it'll open the back up here like this and you would have put a cartridge in here like that but because the camera is so old they don't sell film for it anymore but it would it would have been good to try it it would have been a nice camera to try but it's um but it is so heavy so it would like take it would be really heavy to carry around in a bag and stuff but it's a good camera so moving on to my last polaroid film i had um camera i do i have Oh no, I've got two more. Um, my next one is the Polaroid Lang camera. So my next Polaroid camera is this one, the Polaroid Colour Pack 2. This one was given to me as a gift for my birthday. Um, and I think I've, I've used it once. Um, as I, I don't shoot Polaroid as much as I do film and digital, but I use Polaroid mostly for when I go out for my friends and stuff like that. Um, this this camera doesn't move at all. It's just one big camera that sticks out. So at the top you've got the viewfinder here, and then here you've got where you can put a flash cube. Uh, cube. Put a flash cube. Now the flash cubes you can get off eBay, but you, um, they only last once. So when you shoot when you shoot the flash will explode so you can't so it's not that economical so my final Polaroid camera I have um, is the Fuji, um, Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 um, I've got it in black but you can also get it in different colours like pastel colours and white um, this one is very similar to the Fujifilm Instax 210 um, but it's about half the size and the prints are half the size as well um, so this one is really similar but you get more controls and it's more accurate so you get the viewfinder here and then you also get a flash at the top here um, and then when you turn the camera on you use this button here and it will shoot the lens out just like the other one but with this one it gives you a light at the back so it's red at the moment but as soon as it goes um, it goes away it shows that the camera's ready and you get these different dials here to show which setting and it will show you a recommended setting with the light here so you'd move it to be in that setting because otherwise the camera won't understand it will be overexposed and stuff like that so um, again you can buy film on, on the internet for this one and um, you can buy different lenses to give it a different effect and stuff. This camera does um, has just got a fixed focal point at 0 0.6 to infinity. So anything from 0 0.6 will be in focus. But anything uh, below that won't be. But you can get 
uh, lenses to put on for in that for macro mode. So yeah, that's that was the Fuji, and you can see here um, all my um, examples of all the different all the different pictures that I have taken with that. So yeah. So I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this um, enjoyed this video. Um, I will be uploading some more videos soon about how to use some cameras and, and go into more cameras in detail. And I will be doing videos on film cameras and digital cameras I have. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe and like. And if you disliked, then um, leave me a comment to show what um, I can improve on as, as I am new to YouTube. Um, and if you have any information about your Polaroid cameras and Polaroid cameras you'd recommend me getting, just leave a comment down below and I will sure to get back to you. So, 